you guys, I know you guys are thinking. Trisha Paytas. Trish, for tonight, I want to introduce you to all my best friends. Uh, that was a proposal. Mmm. Still smells great. <laughs> Woo! You talked to her about dating? Like yeah. a really serious On or off camera? Off camera. Thank you for coming. I want to introduce Thank you guys to Trish. You know what's so funny about you in real life is like you're so like chill. Like everyone says you're like an camera and stuff like that. And in real life, you're like so sweet and nice. You know what I mean? You just said I was mean. You don't do this. I'm ready. You don't sweat like me and Jonah sweat. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Fill the room with the juice, so that's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit fire, uh, yeah, she kinda cute. You don't need any more nigger big shots. Let's read some comments first. This video slaps way harder in 2021. The beginning of the end. New title, My Biggest Regret. Whoo! This video should be renamed Introducing Our Downfall to my friends. Little did we know three years later, she would be talking ish about all of them. David knew her thing is to post long videos unedited. Little did they know she would be the part of their downfall. Interesting, this popped up in my recommendations. Let's hop in this reaction. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Go ahead and get it out of the way right now before we hop into this reaction. This is called introducing new girlfriends to my friends. Obviously, Jason Nash introducing Vlog Squad to Trisha. So I don't know what this is gonna be again i've never seen this video i'm not really like big big fans of these people so i again i go in blind so we're gonna see what this is i wanted to read some of the comments first just to kind of see you know what what, what is what's transpired as the time has passed this came out december 20th of 2017 that's crazy like it's isn't it amazing how the years are just passing by you guys it's just like whoa i swear it was just like I was born. I, I swear, like, whoa, I'm grown now. Life is just passing us by. All right, let's hop in here. What's up, Jason? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. It's Wednesday. That's better. My name's Jason Nash, and this unnecessary i don't know why i'm just trying to try to do something there try it out won't happen again i won't be doing that again ever mm, not at all. nope no one's gonna like that hey i know you guys i know you guys are thinking trisha paytas right am i dating her what's going on i know you guys ship it some of you even yacht it some of you even see do it but listen it. got a chance to introduce my favorite lady Trisha Paytas to my friends. There we have all my favorite people on the couch. Feels Trish, but tonight I want to introduce you to all my best friends. Uh, that was a proposal. Yeah, we had a really serious talk about dating in the car. I was very excited about it. So I thought this was like an official, like, we're dating. I was like, wait, really? You talked to her about dating? Like yeah. a really serious On or off camera? Off camera. <laughs> One time I tried to date this girl and he was so upset. Oh, why? You like Jason a little bit? What is it? What are you wait. Are you like him a little, huh? Wait, yeah, maybe. I know, I know. <laughs> David looks so young. Tonight. How was you ever been there? No. Uh, I've always wanted to be there. It was so much fun. Yeah. I've always wanted to be there. Jake is paid. 
jousting? Did you guys watch some people? Jason Cade. He was so excited. He's like, is this jousting? Is this jousting? I was like, no, the jousting is at the end. I was so mad. But he paid. It was so Jason nice. Paid? 180 bucks. And he told me he was cheaper when we went to Disneyland. It's getting serious. Yeah. And he paid for a toy, a battle axe. He yeah, paid for me. And I said, oh, I'll pay for it. People broke into your house to just take pictures? Yeah. They would just take pictures. I'd be like, I want to meet you. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it happens to you all the time. All right, maybe. Really? <laughs> yeah, it happens to so, you all the time. Look at David. This is before people were breaking into David's spot. You are really? Yeah. You're killing it. You're a super cute person. He's adorable, isn't he? He's actually really cute. Um, I just like said, like on camera, I don't know, but like in person, you're super cute. Not like in a physical way. I'm just saying, like on camera, you're like. Not in a physical way. Not in like an actual looking way. No, she means like the way they treat him. She said Zane and Matt thought they were, she was think, hitting on her. Yeah, they thought, I think Oh, this is so weird. Why am I sweating? Because um, <laughs> we're nervous. Thank you for coming. Why don't you introduce you guys to Trish? You know what's so funny about you in real life? is like you're so like chill. Like everyone says you're like an camera and stuff like that. And in real life, you're like so sweet and nice. You know what I mean? You just said I was mean. No, but like in real life, you're like so sweet. Like you're like a little like, I just want to like pat you like a little puppy, you know? Thanks. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a prick to Jason, that's for sure. But you said they're like best friends. Who said that? He said you were best friends. I never said we were Jason, best friends. Yeah. <laughs> no, I never said that. Yeah, he said you guys were best friends too. And he's like, I didn't say that. I didn't say we were best Jason's friends. He's turning red. What the f is this? Rudeness. <laughs> No, we had the conversation tonight. You, you texted me, and 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 uh, and she goes, "Oh, is that your best friend?" And I said, "Yeah." I'm, it's kind of hard to say because he's 23, but yeah, he's. But I guess so. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not yeah. 23. You're talking about Brandon? Yeah. Can we go and buy a match? I feel really unwelcome. I think it's, it's weird you're asking for a group cuddle the night Trish is here. I just had this idea, you know, like, <laughs> group cuddle. Maybe you know, Trish gets on me first. We love a cuddle. He like sets an alarm really quick to go off in two minutes. Oh, guys, it's cuddle time every. Every Sunday. I get dressed up in a Santa suit. I spend 20 minutes making it look perfect. I'm asking him, what are we going to do? And he just sits there and he just goes, I'm also just down to call it at night. <laughs> like he's got cheering practice in the morning. <laughs> I just got in a Santa suit. Should have told me that five minutes ago. I'm sweating. You don't do this shit. I'm ready. You don't sweat like me and Jonah sweat. <laughs> you understand? We're I'm working over here. Yeah, and you don't get your ears up in the back of the car. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> working for you guys. <laughs> anyway, I stayed at my ex-wife's place over the weekend because she loves to travel, and Brandon came by. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jason Nash here from YouTube, and welcome to Cribs. Come on in. Here's my family. Now, I'm not actually in any of these pictures, but I was in this frame at one point. But they just cut you out of it. Part of the hard thing about divorce is splitting the stuff up. You know, who gets what CD, uh, these are my recipes, forks, knives. I mean, who remembers who bought what? For example, all these books are my ex-wife, but this one, this one's mine right here. I'm going to take this back to my house. Actually, El Chapo gave me this book. Mmm. Still smells great. Woo! Oh, man. Was that a good joke? Oh, I don't know if that was a good joke it. for you kids. All of a sudden, I'm just like picked up for some reason. But okay. Oh, man, I love it. I love being in my ex wife's house. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like I'm going back in time. But before, when you were coming in here, you seemed more like bummed out about it. Now that you read that book, you seem really amped. <laughs> it's a great read. Do you want to read some? Uh, no, I'm okay. Should sure you want to read just a little? Yeah, I went to uh, rehab for uh, reading Hemingway. Read just a bit. No, no, no. Just okay. a bump. Just a bump of reading. You want me to do a bump of reading? Yeah, just a bump of reading. A few words. You want me to read a line? Yeah. <laughs> read a line. You know? Let me show you this. Come on in here. Come wow. In. How dope is this? 2.3 million right views. Here. Yeah, it's a washer and dryer. She has, one, what... she has one in the house. And, and in here, this is where I'm going to record my new album. Your new album? What is it called? No, oh, I just play it for you. Take me back, X Y. I'm a shell. seconds 
That's not a full song. Are you okay, man? I messed up, Brandon. What do you mean? I, I live with two 20-year-olds. And there's another six or seven other... That is so sad. <laughs> I can't even... Sir, what? What, are, what am I watching right now? What? What? Why Why is this praised, bro? You're grown with these children talking about some, let's take a bump of this book. 20-year-olds that come over at all hours of the night and light fireworks off in the living room. My son and daughter, they, they don't want to stay there, Brandon. And I'm starting to think that they're not actually my friends. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious. I'm shocked that it took you this long to, to figure this out. I, I'm not your friend. I'm just here, just recording. Oh. It was for the <laughs> My ex-wife is going out of town, so I'm gonna have the kids for 13 days. It's really funny, like the kids, they um, they go to school and they're in school, and you have to wake up really early, take them to school, which stinks. And then uh, that's they get up at 6:30, but they're not in school now. They're they've already they're already on break, so I'm like sleeping a lot. Well, I get to sleep till eight, which is awesome. But now there's another problem, because you know I always find problems. I have to find something to do with them. Like every minute. They literally say, what are we doing today? It's like I'm a butler. Hey, by the way, Wyatt pointed out something really interesting the other day. He said, isn't it funny that the word but is in the word butler? I thought that was pretty good. I said, you're going to do well in life, sir. Because that is an observation that he said, I've been around a long time and no one's ever said that to me. Hey, guys, you won't believe who I just ran into. <laughs> What are you guys doing here in this neighborhood? Just chilling. We're just around the corner. Okay, Todd. I was demonetized for several months in 2017. Oh, well, 2018's a new year. New you, Jason. What are you guys doing? You going inside? We're going inside. We're going to drink some protein shakes. We just got our pump on. You know. Go I was in a bad mood with David because he, like, came to my desk and he was just annoying the f*** me. So go in there and say, hey, what's up, David? Jason says you're in a bad mood. He says David's in a bad mood? Yeah, yeah. But I was clearly the one in a bad mood. Yeah, yeah. So, what's wrong with you, Jason? Hmm? What's wrong with you, David? Sure. Why? Jason told us you were in a bad mood. Are you okay? Jason's in a bad mood. Are you sick? Yeah. So, are you in a bad mood? Psych, I'm not sick. That was just me. I didn't clear my throat. When I don't clear my throat, I don't sound like I'm in a bad mood. Was this for school? Stupid. What's your problem, dude? What's your problem, dude? Who we'll tells you? He is in a bad mood. Way stressed. You know why? Because he's like editing right now, isn't he? Oh, is this a skit? No. <laughs> oh, is this a skit? I was editing and I was super short. Sure. I had to get on my nerves. No, no. <laughs> Todd came in and totally blew it. <laughs> the first thing out of his mouth was, hey, Jason, why are you in a bad mood? I mean, David, why are you in a bad mood? <laughs> I just said I was I was in a bad mood with David, and I was kind of a jerk. So I'll go in there and be like, Jesus says you're in a bad mood. <laughs> I put David in a bad mood, actually. That was well done, guys. Was it? Was it well done? Yo, I can't. Like that's actually crazy. That. What's up, everybody? No, we're not finishing. We're not finishing you. I'm sorry. We're cutting it off right there because, baby, what was that? I'm sorry. That cocaine line. What? What was? Was that a joke? Was that a joke? Like put in there just to? Somebody commented and said, "This guy's a effing loser." <laughs> Heavy on the clout chase. Heavy on the clout chase for real. Like what? Anyways, let's get back to the cocaine book part. What was that? Was that supposed to be funny? Because for me, I'm seeing it as a grown man. And when I say grown man, I mean like over 40. Okay. Over 40 with children. When I say children, I mean early 20s. Yeah, we'll say that. Early 20s. And you're... I mean, the influence is kind of... I'm not here for it. I'm not... I'm not I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not here for it at all it's very interesting watching these videos from the past isn't it it's like a completely different energy of like untouchable you know you can tell that they are untouchable because they would never do that right now he would not open or he would not film a video with that cocaine bit line whatever that was 
right now. That, that would just not be something that would make any sense. It wouldn't be funny and no one would like it. Mm, child, let me know what y'all think about this reaction. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. I am confused. Okay, so yeah, love you guys so much. See you in my next video. If you're brand new and you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go pray for all the grown people you know, okay? And tell them that this is a little weird if they're doing it, all right? Okay.